Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' systems. So today we got a system from the user Space in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending this system in. And this system is called the Buck System, so let's hop straight into this, it's already installed from the workshop. Now this system's actually in this version of the game, this is actually in the latest version, so we're in the Terraform update, update 34, because I literally just tried filming this. And the description said it needs to be in the... Te he's updated it for the Terraforming update. Because all of the systems in the current submission list, they were all submitted before, way before the update came out. But because this is a workshop simulation, he's updated it since the update came out. And the link in the Discord still takes you to the same page. And he's updated the page of this new system. So it even says here... Uh, where are we? Uh, the system has recently been adapted for the new Terraforming update. Because I was expecting all of the systems uploaded to be in the old update still. Because I needed to finish off that list before I opened it up to the new systems. But yeah, this one's actually been updated for the new systems. So this is actually the first system in this series that's actually in the new Terraform update. So this should be quite interesting to see what has been put together in this. So with that further ado, I haven't even checked out any of the things yet. But one thing I did notice in my previous recording was that. Check that out. Entire galaxy chilling behind this system. So that is pretty awesome. So let's go all the way from here. So a system I've had for a while now is originally just the planets and major moons, um, but I've fleshed it out recently. I do not know if the system is stable due to limitations of my laptop. See, the fact that you made this on a laptop with that galaxy in the background, eh, pretty crazy. Um, but I believe it's mostly apart for a few of the inner moons. So some things I haven't mentioned here, like most of the moons in the system, but I want to keep the description short and the end sense of exploring. Uh, so many things are included. Some pronations have these. Um, he low. This means that only say part of the word inside them. Okay. Uh, the system has been recently updated with the new Terraform update as it broke some visuals. Also, the major moons have been given a separate green color and particularly interesting ones that have been given their own new color. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, for um, all the systems that are uploaded, I go back into the last version of the game because that was the version they were, would have been made in. So that's to stop breaking them. But he's actually updated it for this current release, which is pretty cool. So, anyways, the star itself. Um, the star of the system, a perfect K2V type star, it orbits a small open cluster just outside the galaxy. It has an estimated lifespan around 10 million more years. Okay, cool. Right, first of the planets, we've got Sae, or Sabe here. It's the closest planet, the second hottest and densest planet. It's an iron planet due to iron being a large part of its composition. Can we go to, let's go to realistic. There we go. Oh, uh, oh, there you go. All right, pretty cratered, bashed up there. All right, okay. Fort's Mirror uh, is a planet made by a friend. It's the hottest planet in a Venus analog. It has womb, moon, and a faint ring system. So here it is. Okay. Oh, no, sir. No, let's go to realistic. There you go. Cool. Right, let's turn that off. So Venus look alike. Got its little ring system. Oh, that's so annoying. Look at this. It changes as I turn that off. I'm not sure. I'm not used to this button yet. Uh, these new buttons. It's annoying. It keeps locking onto it as I... Uh, See, that's, that's annoying. Don't do that. I want you on realistic. And I zoom in. It can change. There you go. Yeah, the new the new settings are a little, little weird like that. I haven't really fathomed them out yet. So I haven't actually had much time. I've only... See, it's done it again. See, I don't have much experience using this version of the game yet. Because I've had to finish off lots of other ones in the old version still. So I'm only now starting to get to the latest version of the game and starting to do videos in it. So I'm exploring as you guys are learning as well. I've seen it. So, yeah, I'm learning just as much as probably some of you guys are. All right. That's a cool view of the galaxy behind. I like that. All right, cool. Next up, we've got um, Clarine. Clarine over here. So that is this. Uh, where, where's that? That's a good question. Where is that? The only. Oh, that's the moon. It's a dull red color due to a small high velocity interstellar cloud. You may uh, be asking how this only affected it. Uh, this is because it started out in the outer reach of the system as a binary comet over millions of years. It got flung closer and closer to Bucks, where a series of encounters led to it being captured. Okay. And its companion got torn in half, and that became the ring system. All right. Next up, we got Arkham, the prison from DC. Okay. Here it is. Cool. Right, so it's the third planet, the third hottest and second densest. It's the same size of Earth, but has a quarter more massive due to the large iron core and two moons. Looking good. So moons as well. Got Burek over here. That very blue in the south there. That's a little patch of water. And this one here too. Cool. Right, next up we've got um, Tremendous. 
So where are we? Where, where is that? Oh, the fourth panis. Oh, so binary. We're looking for a binary. Where where is that? Because I can't spot them. I can see the widow. That's the fifth planet. So where are the fourth? Where is the fourth one? I can't see a barrier center anywhere. Can't find them. Where are they? I have to search these eyes up. So, Trem and this. So. This one. How did I not spot that? <laughs> oh, it's because it had a different name. Okay, Trem and Spra. Trem and Spra. Are oh, the fourth planet. So a binary super earths and the primary terraform targets of the Acilians. It has a thick atmosphere and the Spra has vast oceans. Okay. So Trem's the thick ocean, Spra. Or Spra's the uh Yeah, that's the ocean, the other one's the thick atmosphere. Okay, cool. So there's those two binaries. Got satellites around them as well. Looking good. Alright, next up we've got Widow. The fifth planet has magnificent white rings. It's similar to Neptune in mass and composition. It has more moons uh the minor moons due to the Algo being near the hill sphere and its proximity to Bucks. Okay. Cool. Got a very nice, uh, very deep blue there as well. Alright. So Geffen, where's that? Is that one of the moons? That's not another planet, is it? Uh, where are we? Oh, there it is. Okay. A special material called Vulcanite, which is perfectly conductive. It's also one of the most volcanically active bodies in the system, but it's hindered by Widow's small size and its large density. Okay, you can see the, the lights on it as well, representing the volcanoes. Next up, we've got Nardos over here. It's considered an average moon in the system because there isn't anything special about it other than its colour. Okay, then we've got uh, Corinas over here. It's a young world less than a billion years old. It formed when two other moons collided and it's starting to develop bacterial life. Look at that. Yeah, they've got the green patch. That's cool. Um, it appears yellow due to the vast majority of its cellular life being airborne. Alrighty. Okay. Then we've got Acilia. It's one of the most interesting moons in the system. So that is over here. Looks like it has a ring or something. As it has an intelligent race that has achieved FTL travel. It's faster than light travel. It has global language very similar to English and is currently testing some rudimentary terraforming. They look a lot like Axel from SMG4 and you may see some of their probes around the system. The average Acilian height is 7 foot 1 and they are drawing up plans for a Dyson Swarm. Okay. Hatable moon. Looking good. Lots of satellites around that guy. Awesome. Cool. Next up, we've got Algor. Does not have blood on its surface. It's over here. Oh, yeah. Right. It's a unique substance scientists have named Jerkatonium in honour of the element from Spongebob <laughs> due to the fact that upon contact with any living being, it erased any form of sympathy, moralness, or kindness. And only a few have gone. A few have a gene that renders them immune. The liquid also harbors a weak form of hive mind centered and hosts a number of horror movie esque beings at at least ten feet to Oh gosh, don't go there. That's a dangerous world near there. <laughs> okay, next up we got Nitrox. That's over here. We're going through an asteroid belt now over here. So it's a gas giant. One a big moon, Urkony. It's colour from an unknown mixture of gases. It has no rings due to the proximity. So that is... Oh, that is a big moon as well, actually, in comparison to its parent planet. got a deep red atmosphere as well. Okay. It's a very large moon in comparison to its parent. And then the rest are all... I'm guessing these are all minor moons. Little particles and stuff. What are these colours? What's going on here? Well, that's just the surface. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So they're all minor moons. Yeah, nothing to see there. All right. Cool. And next up we got um cover co uh non another kind of the gas that's over here what's this impose thing that hasn't been mentioned what is that what is this comet i'm guessing oh a black hole what what is that all about S three six four five space and a black hole. what is going on here one massive sun that's going to destroy this place if I press play. If I press play, that's going to muck up a lot of things. <laughs> right, anyways, back over here. There's no mention of that in the description yet. Right. It's down here. The smallest of the gas giants being a gas dwarf. It has a moon that looks to have an eye and silicate rings from an unfortunate moon. So you can see the green objects in there. They're probably the ones of interest. 
Okay. Oh, damn, that's annoying. Oh, where are we? Oh, wow. Oh, ah! Uh. <laughs> Clicked on the background and it did that. Ah, uh, that's a bit annoying. Oh, what are you doing, game? Don't do that. Let's, let's just go back to trim. There we go. I'll just re-navigate. All right. Cool. So we were... Where are we? Over here, weren't we? The yellow one. Yeah, all right. Okay, where are we? So we're here. So that's the gas office. So any of these moons actually... That one's got some uh, interesting looks to it. Okay. Then the rest are all miners. Okay, so there's a few uh, few more interesting ones looking there. Okay. Cool. All right. Moving on. So we got Corusis over here. Corusis. The, uh, the second oldest planet and used to have a questionable bands of deep red and purple. As a third moon, a moon, a moon has a moon. So that is over here. There's a lot of random objects in here. Well, this one looks cool. So a moon that has a moon that has a moon. Pretty mental. There you go. Hey, that's very close to its parent object there. Okay. Right. And the rest are all randoms by the looks of it. Yeah. Okay. So next up we've got uh, Pluxis, a captured planet of an unknown origin. It is believed to be an objective from the closest solar system, the Crux um, Acronix system. While the Acilians consider it a planet due to its size, under the definitions of our AU, it's a dwarf planet because it got captured in an asteroid belt. It used to have life in its old system, but got ejected by a rogue brown dwarf and froze solid. Okay. Bonk is a special moon. That's over here. It came from Plux with its ejection. It's a bit small, but it's a time capsule to their journey. Literally, Plux's people saw the brown dwarf come in, and before they escaped to another planet, they put a giant time capsule beneath Bonk's surface. So it's ever discovered again, either by them or another race, they would know it was once their home. Okay. Cool. Next up, we've got Korax. Some more random moons there. New Horizons probe. Check that out. What's that doing in there? Is that this one? I can barely read that. The blue is so dark with the background. Oh, wow. It's pretty dark here. A deep blue colour, almost as big as Jupiter and the biggest known planet in this system. It's the only moon with rings and a moon that looks like bacon. What? Which one's that? Which is the one? Must be one of the green ones, I'm guessing. So we've got Oort. Nusty, there's a lot of green ones. We'll try and go for them all. There you go. A lot of those. It must be this one. Basin. Maybe that's the one he means by bacon. There you go. <laughs> All right, there's all of those. And then we've got Curin. The last planet has not been discovered yet. So that's this guy here. Completely dark. All alone, no moons. Um, it has large magnificent rings. As Stromlos have predicted its existence due to its infinite and quirks, but since it has not been discovered yet, no moons are known. It's, it's so, probably so dark, you can't see it reflecting either, so you'd have to detect it using maths. Right, dwarfs. I have no idea how to pronounce this. You can choose. <laughs> Even he doesn't know how to say it. How am I going to know? <laughs> I know that like, sometimes I always say, you know, I do apologize if I can't say it. But even the creator doesn't know how to say this one. <laughs> so we have this one here. ZN. I don't know. There you go. So that one. <laughs> where is that? I have no idea where it's located. It's not further out. Is it back in here? Where is it? There it is. It's all the way in here. Ah, okay. So we have to go back inwards again. So this one here. That galaxy view is awesome. So we've got Shoemaker Moon there. It's the smallest dwarf, but not much was known until the Achillean probe New Horizons flew past for a minor course gravity assist. It was discovered that it has two moons. The discovery is so recent that they have not given the proper names yet and are using random names from a name generator. <laughs> okay. Next up is Pluxis. Where's that? Uh, where are we? I may have to search these if I can't find them. Where is it? Oh, it's all over here. Okay. There it is. A state of previous, it's a dwarf planet under our IAU. Even though it's nearly as big as Earth and half masses, it's captured. It's so recent, it has time to clear its orbit. Okay, so that's why it's still a dwarf planet. It hasn't cleared its orbit yet. Okay. Next up, we've got Lyoka. It's the only known dwarf planet as the light out beyond Curin. It's so dim and nothing has been discovered beyond the second Kuiper belt. Okay. So, where is that? It's a good question. Where is it? I can't see it. It's further out than Curin. 
Uh, search it. L I O. Oh, it's there. I thought it said it was further out than Q. Where? And beyond Q and is so. Oh, okay. So this is where the light from the star roughly ends then. Gotcha. Okay, cool. And then we have over here, so Comet Space. What's that barrier center there? Comet Space is a self insert comet, as all the comets are. Comet Space is named after the username of someone important in my life. Uh, okay. Other comets include Comet Zolnax and OC owner of a Discord server. Okay, I'm in. Comet Chili, a comet OC from here. And the comet is particularly interesting because it seems to have reality bending properties. When scientists sent. Okay. Um. When scientists sent space examiner, they thought it'd be a normal comet until they found a black hole more massive than Buck's orbit. That's it. That's the black hole we saw. Um, its chemical samples arrive and a new ore is found. It was named Cos Cosmonium after the th uh, thing is mechanically named after and seems to be driving this comet's reality bending tricks. There is much on the system that I haven't talked about, so too please do explore if you find something in untrusted. Oh, I want to know what this Barry sensor is. So that's everything in there. What is this? What is down here in the darkness? Barry centers are so glitchy. Never zoom into a Barry center, people. It just glitches you out and you can't move your camera out. So I need to figure out what is down there. So what what is that? What is exactly down there that I can't see in the darkness? What is down there? Let's uh, zoom into it slowly. There's definitely something here. There's got to be. Still zooming in. Okay, what is this? Right. So then pitch black we'll go to studio there you go so what is going on here so we've got two hidden worlds not mentioned in the description out here in the depths okay there they are a few more comets and bits and bobs out here as well obviously got the entire galaxy let's actually go back to that black hole because i want to see what that's all about i want to press play <laughs> see what happens <laughs> Got spacecraft, very nice. All this, yeah. Oh man, impact. There we go. That's the black hole we're looking. At. Yeah. So behind that asteroid. So what if I press play? It's coming at a few. Yeah, we're gonna slow this down a bit. Pressed it. I pressed it. What's gonna happen here then? Oh oh oh. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Be careful where you click. <laughs> right. Don't zoom into the barrier center. <laughs> okay. So let's go back to this. I'm going to the star. There you go. Right. So, increase. What happens? I want to see that black hole just shred this. There it is. It's coming in. And that's going to fly. It's one mass of sun. Let's see how fast we can run this. I'm guessing not very quick. Oh, that black hole's actually leaving. Okay. Interesting. But there we go. So, I guess we're free from seeing it get destroyed because it won't run any quicker. So, we'll be here a while waiting for that to come around. So, there we are. But again, massive thank you to the creator of this system, Space, for sending this system in. I enjoyed that. I, like, I really like the galaxy in the background. No one's ever done that before, I don't think. So, yeah, very, very cool. And, yeah, guys, let us know what you think down below of this system in the comments. If you enjoyed it, let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video as well, guys. And also subscribe for more as well. Help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And with that all said and done, I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.